today we're going to be using this Fuel 3D scanner fly to scan my face and then we'll be putting it into software and adding it to a bus that we found on Thingiverse and then we'll be printing it on the Sawtrax M200. Here's the scan in the Fuel 3D software. Okay, so the first thing we'll have to do is to orientate the face using the transform tools to uh, orientate it so it faces upwards so that when we create our own mesh mixer part, it'll, uh, it will import correctly onto the new model. So this is the model we're going to be using to place my face on. The first thing I want to do is just going to start to smooth down his actual face just to make room for my own. So just using the smooth tool we just go over the, uh, the extruded areas and then we use the move tool just to push in anything that's sticking out too far. Okay, so now we're gonna go into my part and add my face and orientate it roughly to the same position as the original model. Just using the transform tool there just to ease it into position. It doesn't have to be perfect, we can edit this later. Okay, so now I'm just trying to uh, match up the faces as best as I can uh, using the drag and pull and the smooth tool. Um, this is quite fiddly, this part, but if you stick with it, you can get a really good result. Um, and it's just about being patient and making sure you match up the models as best as you can. So now that we've got the face exactly where we want it to be, uh, it's nicely aligned to the model. Um, what we'll do is we'll select both the files in the utility box you can see on the right and we'll go up to uh, Boolean Union. We'll select that and hit accept. This might take a little while as it's computing the two, the two models together. Now you can see it's given us an indication of where the edges are. And then we'll go into the inspector. We'll increase the uh, threshold slightly and we'll left click on the handle which should then compute the edge and stitch the two together. Okay so here's our final finished product. Uh, we're going to export it out as an STL binary and then it's ready to print. Okay so this is the final print. Uh, the Zortrax has done a really good job Bring it closer so you can see. So there we go. There's no obvious signs where the two models have met. It's a very clean finish. The scanner did a really good job of uh, capturing my likeness. If you have any other ideas of what we could possibly scan in the future, please leave a comment and we'll try it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.